Hello everyone, it's Patty Behan, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to make this sparkly and shimmery gift card holder. There's a little pocket on the inside where you can tuck a gift card in, and it has some stamping, and this is a great way to use up your washi tape. And we'll also be using some stencils, Simon Hurley stamps, some shimmer sprays, and let's get started. To begin, I have a piece of Distress Heavyweight Craft cardstock, and you can get two gift cards out of this one sheet of paper, but today I'm just going to show you how to make one. So first you're gonna cut at three and a half inches, and then three and a half inches again, that's for your second one, and we'll put it aside. And then we're gonna use that extra strip of paper to stamp on later on. And now you're going to score it at four and three quarter inches two times. And we'll put that aside. And we'll fold it at the score lines. And in order to make our scoring nice and crisp, I'm going to go ahead and grab a bone folder. And then I'll just go over it again so that I get a nice crisp edge here. And once that's done, we're gonna go ahead and decorate the outside of the card. I'm working on the Wendy Vecchi Make Art Station and Craft Sheet. And I'm going to get a piece of a paper towel here and cover that top part up and spray with Dilusion's Vanilla Custer Shimmer Spray. I'll spray the whole background there. And now I'm going to stencil this front part here. And I'm using the Starstruck Dilution Small Stencil. And once I position it, I'll again place my paper towel and the magnets and we'll shake up our spray again and go ahead and spray the entire front of the card here. And then again, I'm going to take a paper towel and mop up the excess. And then once that's complete, it looks like so, and we'll put it aside to dry. Now we are going to make our washi tape Christmas tree. I'm using Dilution's washi tape, and you can use any washi tape you like. And I have two squares of paper. One is cardstock right here, and the other is just copy paper. And this is gonna be the template for our tree, which I cut to three and a half by three and a half. And then we'll fold it in half. like that and then we're going to trim off the corner so you'll put the two diagonal corners into your paper trimmer on the cut line and then this is going to be our tree once I get it set here cut it on that diagonal just like so and now we have our pattern so let's just put that aside for the time being and then we're going to take our washi tape. I'm using another three and a half by three and a half square here, and it's out of Simon Hurley cardstock. And I've picked these designs from Dilution's washi tape sets four and six, but you can pick any designs that you choose. So I'm going to start off by just choosing a piece of the washi tape and starting at the top. I'll put it like so, and then I'll rip off the end, and you can let it hang off the ends. Remember, we're gonna trim this down into a Christmas tree. Okay, and once you do that, you take your next piece, and you leave the slightest little gap in between because we're gonna add stickles in that space. And then just continue down the length of the card until the whole thing is covered. And once that is tacked down, we're going to put it in the trimmer and cut off the excess. And you can do this with scissors if you like, but this gets a nice clean cut. And then I just want to trim off that white portion at the bottom. Okay, and that looks good. And now we'll embellish it with some Stickles glitter glue. And I'm going to use some goldenrod, and we're going to just go ahead and put the glitter in those white spaces there. 
I left the white spaces because I think it just leaves room for the glitter to shine some more if it's on the white background. Okay, and now we're going to set this aside to dry and let's do some stamping. So I have our extra strip here that we set aside, some Jet Black Archival ink, and I'm going to grab my sentiment from this Simon Hurley stamp set, Flower Picking Friends, and I'm going to take this Just For You stamp and place it on an acrylic block, and then we're going to ink it up with the Jet Black Archival, and then stamp it onto the heavyweight cardstock here. Okay, and once that's done, look how nicely that stamps on the cardstock. We're going to trim it down and then cut out each word on a diagonal. And we'll set that aside. And since this is dry now, we can do our stamping and put the rest of the card together. You'll notice that I got a little bit of spray on the inside, but that really doesn't bother me. Next time when I make it again, I might try to be a little more careful, or I can add a little more shimmer to the edge of the card if I wanted to. So now we're going to use the Simon Hurley Caroling Squad stamp and take this Merry Christmas sentiment and this cute little Christmas present here and stamp on the inside flap of the gift card holder. And I'm just checking to make sure I don't stamp upside down. And then we'll put the stamp on the block, ink it up with Jet Black Archival ink, and then stamp it to the left edge of the flap here. Now we'll stamp the present a few times and inking up the stamp in between each time you stamp, just like so, and that's perfect. Now we have to make our pocket, and to do that we're going to put some double stick tape on this flap here. We'll put some at each end, make sure you have enough room to stick your gift card in there. And then here we have our little pocket. And now we are ready to decorate the front. So I'll open it up here and we'll grab our Christmas tree that's already dry here. My other one is still wet. And we'll just place these things on the front of the card to see where we want them to go. And we need to add a trunk to the Christmas tree, so we'll take another piece of washi tape like so. And we're going to glue the words on with some more double-sided tape. And then again, glue the tree down. And then we have one more finishing touch. We're gonna add a stickle star at the top of the tree. And I'll grab the stencil again. And my goldenrod stickles. And then we'll go ahead and line it up to make sure we're at the top of the tree and just put the stickles through the stencil. And there you have it. Simple to do and it's such a festive way to give a gift card to somebody with all the sparkle and shimmer. And let me grab a gift card and show you how it looks in there. And it fits perfect. You can write your greeting on the top there. This is also a great way to use up all of your washi tape. You can try different designs, make a different type of tree, or make Christmas ornaments, or even Christmas presents with a piece of twine as a bow. So if you'd like to try this project, we have a link to the full supply list in the description box below. And for more crafty videos, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time.